Hi, everyone. This week, we will have a focus word, a word that we will focus on each day and connect to new words as we learn new things. This week's focus word is brave. Listen to me say that one more time. Brave. Now, I want to hear you say the word. Nice work. Brave. How many syllables does the word brave have? Let's clap it out. Brave. That's right, one syllable. And, hmm, what's the first sound that you hear in brave? B, B, brave. That's right, that's the letter B. But what's the second sound? Brave. Brave. Yes, that's right, that's the B and the R, brr. And what is the last sound that we hear? Brave. What letter makes that v sound? Can you help me? <laughs> that's right, that's the letter V. Nice work, friends. Creating a circle map for our words will help us learn more and more about words. It will help make learning new words easy and fun. So our focus word is brave. Hmm, what do you think of when you hear the word brave? Let's try circle map. Draw one big circle and then a small circle and write our focus word brave in the center of your small circle. Now, let's think about the word brave. How do we say brave in Spanish? Can you help me? That's right, we say bravo or brava. How about in Chinese? Can you help me? That's right, in Chinese, we say yong gan. And what does brave mean? How would you explain the word brave to someone in your family or a friend? When I think of brave, I think of showing courage, right? Having no fear. And can we use the word brave in a sentence? Or, hmm, can we think of a character in maybe a movie that we've seen that was very brave? One character I think of is Simba from The Lion King. Simba, the Lion King, is brave when he fights his evil uncle. All right, friends, let's go to our article a day. And then afterwards, we can complete our circle maps with more and more examples about the word brave. This week, we are learning all about important African Americans. Today, we will read an article titled, A Writer Named Zora. We will hear some words such as write, read, see, listen, and learn. I also included some translations in Spanish and in Chinese for our friends who would like to read these words in their home languages. Now, how
how do you think these words go together? Hmm. Well, I know that when we read, listen, see, and write, we learn new things. So let's get to our article. I'm excited to learn more about this amazing writer named Zora. Let's start by looking at this picture. What do you see? I see an African-American woman named Zora. We're going to find out more about her in just a moment. Remember friends, I'm going to read this article two times. So listen carefully because afterwards we will take out our book of knowledge and write or draw one thing we have learned to share with our class. So let's start at the top of the page. Zora Neal Hurston was an African American writer. She wrote short stories. She also wrote longer stories called novels. As you can see from this picture, a short story is much smaller than a long story. A lot of the stories Zora wrote were about black people. Zora liked to learn about black people around the world. She went to different places to see how they lived. She listened to the stories they told. Learning about different people helped her come up with ideas for stories. Today, many people read Zora's stories. They think she is a great writer and I agree. All right, let's read that one more time. Zora Neal Hurston was an African American writer. She wrote short stories. She also wrote longer stories called novels. What did Zora Neal Hurston do? Remember friends, we can always go back to the story to help us respond to this question. And here's a sentence starter to help you respond to the question. Zora, she, she wrote short stories and longer stories called novels. A lot of the stories Zora wrote were about black people. Zora liked to learn about black people around the world. She went to different places to see how they lived. She listened to the stories they told. Who did Zora Neale Hurston write about? Let's go back to the story to help us respond to this question. A lot of the stories Zora wrote were about black people. Therefore, Zora, she, she wrote about black people. And, hmm. Why did she write about them? Well, let's go back to the story. Zora liked to learn about black people around the world. 
She went to different places to see how they lived. She listened to the stories they told. So Zora wrote about them because she wanted to learn more. She wanted to see how they lived and listen to the stories they told. Learning about different people helped her come up with ideas for stories. Today, many people read Zora's stories. They think she is a great writer. So how did Zora Neil Hurston get ideas for her stories? I'd love to hear from you. That's right, she traveled. Let's go back, right? She traveled to different places around the world to see how people lived and listen to their stories. All right, friends, now it's time to take out our book of knowledge. You can grab your notebook or a piece of paper and something to write with. I will take out our class book of knowledge and we will write or draw one thing you learned to share with our class. Let's go to week one, important African Americans. Day one, the task is to draw or write one thing you learned about Zora Neal Hurston. Remember friends, we can always go back to our visual word bank to help us spell any new words that we have learned, such as write, read, learn, see, listen. So what did we learn about Zora? I know. We learned about Zora, an African-American woman who wrote books about black people from all around the world. So I'm gonna draw a picture of Zora and a picture of one of the books or one of the many books that she wrote. When I'm done with my drawing, it's time for me to label my pictures. So this is a picture of Zora. And if I don't remember how to spell Zora, Neil Hurston, I can always go back to the story that we just read. And this is a picture of a book. How do we spell book? Can you help me? All right, what's that first sound we hear? B book. That's right, that's the letter B. O, O, and that last sound? K. That's right, friends, that's the letter K. And Zora Neale Hurston wrote books for us to learn more about Black people around the world. So let's write that. She wrote, right? And you can always check your word bank. We have the word write. And in past tense, we say wrote, right? She wrote books, I'm gonna add an S at the end because we have more than one book. She wrote books about black people around the world. Right? So that we can learn more. All right, can you guys help me read my sentence? She wrote books about Black people around the world. All right, friends, now it's your turn. I can't wait to see what you have written. 